Hi, I oftentimes come to you and I talk about what's on your mind. I'm always out in the community talking to women and giving them a platform to have a voice. And many of you know me from my speaking engagements, from TV shows and podcasts that I do, but I wanted to talk to you today about what's on my mind. And I was having a conversation recently with someone and we were talking about veterans. And I really think there's so much more that we can do in this country. We live in one of the richest countries in the world, one of the most influential countries in the world, and we really should not see our veterans starving and homeless and barely making and living hand to mouth. You know, think about it. And nothing against pilots or flight attendants or the airline industry, but they offer such an amazing perk to their flight attendants and to their pilots and other staff where after a certain amount of years of working with an airline they're able for a lifetime to fly and only pay their taxes and oftentimes that benefit is extended to their spouses and other family members and even sometimes to friends right with their buddy passes and nothing against that but what i'm saying let's think about it for a moment what if we had a program for our veterans that after they serve and they retire we have a program that not only are they able to purchase a home and not put money down, which is something that they do get a benefit of, but what if they only pay 10 to 20 percent of their mortgage or 10 to 20 percent of their rent, 10 to 20 percent of groceries, 10 to 20 percent of gas? Could you imagine how many more veteran families we will be helping and really showing them our gratitude? You know, I think that it is time that we come together and fight for our veterans. We come together and really support them, show them that we love them, show them that we appreciate them. Because think about it, if it wasn't for our veterans, we wouldn't be able to live in this great grand country that we live in and have the freedom that we have. And so let's come together. Let's have these programs. I think that we make enough money in this particular country, United States of America, that we can definitely implement systems like this, or even better than I suggested, so that we do not have our veterans and their children and their families really struggling the way that a lot of them are doing today. So let's stand together. Let's fight for our veterans. Let's do so much more to help them, show them that we appreciate all the hard work that they do from day to day. Day. And let's just come together and lift them up, come up with these great programs. And I'm really talking to our government. There's just so much more that you can do to help them to continue to stand strong and so that they can continue to be healthy and be whole and have really an amazing life after serving for each and every one of us in this country. They sacrifice their life for us every single day. Let's do more for them to show them that we care for them, that we love them, and that we appreciate everything they have done so that we can live in this country and be free.